Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'd Ayyul Ahbab It's important as believers in Allah Azza wa Jal to strive to actualize our purpose by worshiping Him subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi kitabi al-kareem, wa ma khalaqtu al-jinn wa lintil al-i'budun. I have not created mankind in the jinn except for the purpose of worshiping me. Ayul Ahbab, that should be no mystery for any of us. But as a part of worship and having our worship accepted, it has to be in accordance with the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam. And we have to have sincerity to Allah Azza wa Jal. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi kitabihi al-kareem, Wa ma umiru illa liya'budu allahu mukhlisin allahu deen. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi kitabihi al-kareem, And they were not commanded except to worship Allah and being sincere in the religion to Him. And the Prophet ﷺ said, "Man ahdatha fi amrina hada malaysa minhu furad." The Prophet ﷺ said, "He said that whoever innovates in this affair of ours will have it rejected." So, letting us know when we worship Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, we have to have sincerity to Him. We have to do it in accordance with the Sunnah of the Messenger ﷺ. Those are the two conditions for our deeds to be accepted. So if you want to come closer to Allah, if you want to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone, make sure whatever you do, make sure all acts of worship are in accordance with the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and that you supplicate, that you pray, that you seek refuge in, seek support from, only from Allah azza wa jal. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.